welcome everybody here hungry hammer guy if this is your first time on the page and you like what you're seeing don't forget to like subscribe and hit that bell also share this to all your friends and family out there happy easter y'all he has risen also turn all of my water into wine so that's all i have to drink and i'm completely hammered but anyway i brought you guys a nice easter special here it's going to be some honey garlic and herb glazed lamb chops of course, as always in the beginning of the video, I'd like to show you just a quick little glimpse of all the ingredients that can also be found in the description box down below with the exact measurements. So we're going to start off real quick with uh, grabbing your rosemary, nice little sprig, just grab a few leaves off and we're just going to, you know, dice that up real nice and fine. Remember, these are going to be herb lamb chops. We're going to be using thyme also here. Same thing, easiest way is to just grab the top of the stem and just pull down, pull the leaves right off, and they come right off. Honestly, easiest way. They're super small already, so no need to chop those. Get a nice little bowl and throw yourself, you know, three, four tablespoons olive oil. You don't need too, too much. Really depends on how many lamb chops you have on the table. I'm using four, so I only throw about two or three tablespoons in. Go ahead and get those herbs right into the olive oil and mix it up. This is also something you could do, you know, a few hours prior or maybe even the night before to really let those herbs soak in and get into the olive oil. Now we just really want to brush those lamb chops with that herbed olive oil. Going to get that flavor nice in there. This is acting as like, you know, just a nice basic uh, base and then we're going to season it up. So make sure you hit that on both sides. And then we go down with some uh, some fresh black pepper and then also some kosher salt. And honestly, that's the only seasonings I'm going to be using. If you have any other, go ahead and feel free to use it. And those are looking delicious. Same thing. You can also marinate these, you know, a couple hours or the night before. As you can see, I also didn't trim the fat. The fat, it's you know up to you. Some people like the fat, some people don't. But later on in the video, you'll see I'll be rendering it down a little bit. Adds a lot of flavor to cook there. So get your pan nice and hot though. Add in your olive oil, and then we're just gonna place these down and get a nice crust on each side. Those lamb chops are really going. Nice high heat. You only really need about two minutes on each side. I'm liking that nice little crust there that's looking good for me flip those over and do the same thing on the other side getting the good flavor of those herbs you know deep down inside the meat there like I said we're gonna be rendering down that fat too it's gonna to add you know a ton of flavor with these once you get that crust on both sides set them aside let them rest for a quick second we have other plans with those later in that same exact pan that's why I like to render down that fat because it's going to add this flavor. Now we're going to make our sauce, you know, that honey and garlic sauce. Throw in your butter. Let that melt down a little bit. A little bit more olive oil just so that butter doesn't burn. Again, I mean, we went, you know, right from cooking the lamb chops to the sauce. That pan's still really, really hot. We're working on like medium heat right now. After that, throw in that soy sauce. We're going to sweeten things up with that honey and don't forget you know I know I'm working you know pretty fast that's real pace right there in this video I didn't cut anything for this part with the sauce all the specific measurements and those ingredients are going to be found below in the description box lemon juice went in and now we're going to throw in those cloves of uh, garlic that are minced up and just let that cook out for you know one to two minutes not too long make sure you don't burn the sauce or that garlic in there Once all those flavors really come together, I like to toss those lamb chops just back in for a quick second, coat them on each side, and now we're gonna throw those that whole thing with the pan into the oven at 400 degrees. Not long, only like three to six minutes. Also depends on how you like your lamb chops cooked. I was going for a nice like, you know, medium here with those, so. I happen to plate these up with a nice potato puree and some broccoli rob. I really want a broccolini, but I could not find it in a couple of stores that I searched for, but 
if you guys want the recipe for these two sides let me know down in the comments or in my dms and you know maybe i'll drop a reel for those anyway but uh this is what i like to plate this up with just looks nice and also just goes great with it drop those lamb chops on there make it look nice i like to just you know kind of pile them up like this And then we're just going to drop a little bit more of that sauce that we made earlier. And this is honestly what we had. Listen to what my mom has to say here. She keeps it real all the time. Two thumbs up. <laughs> like I said, I don't, I don't even remember the last time I had As you can see, lamb, beautiful color. Again, guys, if you made it this long into the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell, and share. Always a pleasure having you guys come back to my channel. I'll see you next time.